Welcome to the channel, human. This particular film follows a young Viking prince on his quest to avenge his father's murder. Omleth is our main character. And imagine thinking that everything is going to be great, everything is going to be good, and then all of a sudden your uncle kills your father, kills your people, and kidnaps your mother. And you're forced to venture out into the world until you are strong enough to come back Save your mother, avenge your people, avenge your father, and save your mother. This is what Amleth has to deal with. And there's a line in this movie that says, Your heart is as cold as iron. And I know what that's like, because I've been dead for 19 years. I know what it's like to be cold, to have nothing inside of you. You're just a vessel walking around. There are times where you don't know your purpose, and then there are times where you don't care. You're not even breathing. You just are. You don't feel things. And this is a very bad, dangerous place to be, but it is something that I got used to, something where I did mental training. And Amleth, he's, he's full of rage, and I know what that's like, too, when you just see red and you want some kind of revenge for those that wronged you. And me, I, you know, I come from a background of being bullied, a verbally abusive father. Humans were not there for me when I needed them, so I had to figure out how to be strong for myself. And when you just have rage in your heart and you're seeing red for so many years, you don't even notice other things. So watching Amleth go through his journey, I was right there with him. And I was hoping and wanting for him to take his revenge and kill his uncle, who's family. But family is not just about DNA and blood. It's about your connection. And this movie speaks a lot about betrayal and, and vengeance and being ready. When the opportunity presents itself, what kind of choices are you going to make? So I enjoyed going on this journey with Amleth. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. It's great. The story of revenge about a boy having to uh, avenge his father, the story in itself is simple, but what's great is the execution, the cinematography, uh, the action sequences, the kill scenes are amazing. The acting is on point. Um, everyone that I have on screen here killed it in terms of their performances. And I went through this journey, and it was almost like I was right there with Amleth, you know, like wanting to see him achieve his goal. And then sometimes things happen in life that you don't expect, and when that happens, what's important is how you respond to these things. So there is a development that happens with Amleth when he's older. And he didn't see coming, but he handled it very well in terms of uh, how he responds to it. You know, it could be a situation. It could be a person. It could be both. So what do you do? Do you panic or do you just address it and move accordingly? But this is a very powerful story. Um... I went through a lot of terrible shit in my life, but nothing to the degree of, of Amleth, absolutely not. But I understand wanting revenge, you know, wanting to hurt others. You know, you preparing your entire life to do something specific. The idea of seeing red, your heart being cold, colder than iron. Like for me, my heart is colder than ice and snow itself. There's nothing there. I'm no longer seeing red, but I'm empty inside. But I had to do things for myself. Just like Amleth had to go down his path. And his path in this film was true. And I was cheering for him. I was like, yo, I hope you succeed. And then I knew from, like I knew for a fact that if he doesn't succeed in his quest to avenge his father, he's going to die trying. He's that kind of man. And I love the storytelling so much. So if you're into Vikings and badass guys that, you know, they have this path and they're going to handle their shit, 
I think this is something for you to check out. You know, there's no there's no agenda. There's no bullshit that you normally get in 2022 with a lot of these shows and movies. You just have proper characters and storytelling. And it's one of the better stories in relations to uh, Vikings because there's a lot of stuff out there where it just doesn't work and they try to force it. But I feel like this one, there was something that felt genuine about it. I mean, of course, you had, you know, supernatural elements in it, but none of it felt like over the top. It just really blended well with the story they were telling. And I appreciate that. So shout out to the cast, to the director. Uh, everything is on point in this movie, and I can't wait to watch it again at some point, because the first time I was watching it, like, shit, I was right there with Amleth. I just was going through the emotions and everything, and like I said, you never want to be in a position where you're seeing red and you're full of rage, and everyone handles their situations differently, I suppose, but there's the typical way, and then there's the what humans would call the extreme way. Sometimes you got to go down the extreme path to assess what you need to do. Terrence out.